Today, India marks 50 years of our Bangladesh victory, a victory at a time when Indira Gandhi was Prime Minister and Army Chief was uh, General Manik Shaw. So today you had the Prime Minister uh, laying wreaths in memory of that victory, the President also in Bangladesh to mark this day. But guess who was not mentioned anywhere? In fact, virtually blacked out is the fact of Indira Gandhi, the Prime Minister who actually gave the go-ahead, took the decision to go ahead with this war to liberate Bangladesh, not mentioned anywhere by the Prime Minister, the Home Minister, in any Ministry of Defence uh, release or in Parliament as well. This pointed out by the Congress, by Rahul and Priyanka Gandhi, saying how can you obliterate her legacy? Bangladesh is a function in Delhi. There is no name Indra Gandhi. The one who ate 32 goals, इस देश के लिए 32 गोली खाई उनका नाम तक नहीं है जो भारत पाक युद्ध था 1971 का उसमें जो जीत हुई उसका उल्लेख किया भारतीय सेनाओं का और उस समय जिन्होंने भी नेतृत्व किया उन सबका उल्लेख किया है लोकसभा राज्यसभा दोनों में किया है मेरे ख्याल में राहुल गांधी जी को ये लोकसभा राज्यसभा की कार्रवाई को देख लेना चाहिए Amazingly petty politics there, not to mention Indira Gandhi. But let's just look once again at the highlights of that uh, fantastic victory, the creation of Bangladesh, the liberation of Bangladesh in a series of documentaries NDTV had done. Here are the highlights. At 4 p.m. on the 16th of December, 1971, Lieutenant General A.A.K. Niazi signed the instrument of surrender and placed himself and his troops under the command of Lieutenant General J.S. Arora. It was the Indian Army's finest hour, the 16th of December, 1971, 50 years ago. The Dhaka garrison formally laid down their arms. Madam Prime Minister, you are not only the leader of the great people of India, you are a leader of the people of Bangladesh. In 12 days, Indian armed forces had waged what observers then saw as the most decisive liberation campaign in military history. 75 million won their independence in one lightning strike. 93,000 Pakistani soldiers were taken prisoner of war. This is the man who took India to that war, General Sam Manikshaw, later India's first field marshal. Mrs. Uh, Gandhi was very good about that. She said, I, you are in charge, Sam, as long as you get me what I want. Despite the initial reverses, the Pakistani military leadership in East Pakistan remained defiant till the end. But a lot of men might die. Uh... The price of freedom. For what freedom? Not yours. It's mine. Yes, my country, Pakistan. Brave words, but the writing was on the wall. East Pakistan collapsed in less than two weeks after the war began, being replaced by the vibrant nation the world knows as Bangladesh. Vishnu Shob for NDTV.